This is a 2024 F Pace, and it's a special one. This is the SER model. Not only does this car look good, it makes 542 horsepower out of a 5 liter V8. Skip the boring stuff and get right into it. The seats, Alcantara. The roof, Alcantara. The dash, Alcantara. So you know this thing's fast. Even the kids are going racing. I mean, look at it back here. There's a lot of great features about this car that I didn't mention in this video. That's because you have to come take a look for yourself. It's here at Jaguar Land Rover Mainline, and the experts here, they'll hook you up. Did you know fully self-driving cars are already on the streets of San Francisco? I took a ride in one and this is what it was like. I ordered the car on the app and it got to me in like five minutes. The cool thing is you can sit in either the passenger seat or the back seat. There's a screen in the back and the front where you can see the map, control the music, and control the temperature. The first three minutes were a bit nerve wracking, but overall I felt very safe in the Waymo self-driving car. And knowing that it has 29 cameras, radar, and LiDAR, I felt better being a passenger in this. I actually don't feel scared at all or nervous having the car drive for me. It drives it's pretty slow. It's cautious. It starts and stops gradually, so you don't end up feeling motion sick like you do in the back of a lot of Ubers. It successfully took me to the beach, and guys, it really was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. The pricing is very similar to Uber or Lyft, but it's like the Uber Black experience. It's also completely free right now because they don't yet have permits from the city to charge for their fares. What do you guys think? Would you take a ride in a self-driving car? Well, this is so much better than driving.